Andy Prasad is currently doing a master's in creative technology at Montford University and has also been practicing jiu-jitsu since he was 16. Having recently earned his black belt, Andy now joins the club as a full-time instructor, teaching both students new and experienced. So what exactly is jiu-jitsu? And how does it differ from mar other martial arts? It was originally designed as a fighting form for when samurai lost their weapons on the battlefield. But in modern day use it has a lot more applications as self-defence. There's um, quite a bit of difference between the likes of jiu-jitsu and say karate or kung fu. They are very much punch kick orientated. They might have some pressure points, things like that involved. But we deal solely in uh, throws, joint locks, things like that. Do you find you've become personally invested in the progression of the junior grades as they train harder and longer and stay with the club over the years? Absolutely. It starts to become part of what you love about the art. Um, watching people grow, helping them through their mistakes. So to you, what are martial arts all about? Is it, is it relaxation, strength, discipline, the ability to decapitate someone with your bare hands? Well, decapitating someone with your bare hands is pretty good. Decapitating someone with your pinky is so much better. But really, it's, it's mostly about having fun to me. If it weren't fun, I never would have carried on. Everything else, strength, discipline, it, it comes as almost a side effect of all that. Well, that's all we've got time for, so we'd just like to say thank you to Andy for coming along, telling us what is jiu-jitsu, what it is, what it isn't, what it does, what it doesn't do, um, and also for get, letting us uh, get an insight into your life and why it is you started, and especially why you stay. So... Thank you for coming along. That's all right. Uh, thanks for having me. Anytime. That's me, Chris White, for East Midlands News, and that's all.